Well, boys, they're calling for some major snow around these parts. We are in store for seeing 30 or 40 centimeters of snowfall for the hardest hit areas. It's supposed to be high snowfall rates, white out conditions. True Canadian blizzard for the ages, boys. We're talking about two to five centimeters falling per hour across this region. Yay, fun and excitement, boys. Woo! This has been named Winter Storm Izzy. It already dropped significant amounts of snow, but once it pushes north of the border, we're looking at a very significant snowfall threat across so Ontario and Quebec. <laughs> The four fifty-five big block right there. Blue glove right there on it. Frick. Partially naked. Check it out, boys. Got her clean as a bean, ready for the snow mageddon tomorrow. Supposed to be getting up to forty centimeters of snow, boys. Snowfall amounts five to six centimeters an hour. You know I'm ready. baby well boys looks like a blown a wiper blade so uh we'll struggle through <laughs> Been out here plowing for a couple hours. She's still coming down like cats and dogs, boys. Shits and shins. Anyways, this here uh, sidewalk snowbank's getting pretty big. Well, 7 a.m. Everything's been done once. She's still coming down friggin' six centimeters an hour out here. on the slide boys yay fun excitement listen boys seen more friggin cars stuck in the snow there Monday than my neighbor's ex-wife had men on the side I'm thinking that's at least a few couple half a dozen anyways to be safe but uh, yeah this kid here anyways managed to get his mom's car stuck right in the middle of the road blocking our path of destruction so me and Ian were forced to jump into action. It wasn't actually stuck that bad though. I just told him, hop in there, put it in reverse, turn that wheel to the left, freaking hit the gas, buddy. So that's what he did, and then voila, the power of two workhorses pushing on that rig. He was back on the road in no time. But I told him, buddy, don't be turning off a plowed street onto a friggin' unplowed street that's got a foot and a half of snow. It's a little PSA for you folks. Plowman service announcement for the pedestrians that might be watching. Stick to the plowed streets, guys. Your life's gonna be a lot easier. You thought you were already late for work. You weren't quite dressed for the weather. Now what? You're stuck in three feet of snow trying to shovel that thing out. But anyways, stuck here, stuck there, boys just pushed the kid out he said this was my mom's car man i just want to get home <laughs> sometimes boys just gotta swap the blades boys just like she drops the blade come on Side before I make my mother cry, buddy. Come on. No gloves, boys. Gloves are for women and sissies. 
Canadian Blizzard Man stop. Let's get her on there. And we go full TJ. Hooker. Alright, let's get back on the road, boys. She hasn't slowed up one bit. We've been out since three. Everything's already been plowed once. So now I'm making a second lap. And with how hard it's snowing, you can't even tell we we're ever here. Full blown second lap madness right here. Coming at ya. Woo! Now, I'm not gonna lie to you boys as if this is some conspiracy, you know, like the one between the hot dog company and the bun company, SOBs. But anyways, at this point, the god darn storm's pretty much taken over, lads. All we can do to keep up is keep the mains open and keep the entries open. But you know what? There's only about four or five employees that bother to show up at each site where it's just a workplace and not a retail store. And, uh, They've pretty much started to funnel out by then, so I basically just kept it open so the people that were left at work could leave and go home because that's what I thought they should do, okay? Other than that, we just kept the entryways at the uh, retail locations opened and we just fought with our backs against the wall like the Mick, eh? like that Irish boxer had to, guys. But lucky for us, the storm did decide to let up a little so we could breathe. Finally, we got a small break in the snow. Looks like we got about two and a half, three hours where it's not gonna snow too hard. So we're just gonna do a final lap here, open up the entries. Anybody who's still at work, we'll make sure they can go home. Most people only went to work for a couple hours this morning. We kept it open and then they ended up just going home. So no major problems here and none of the properties. One convenience store didn't even open. So we're just gonna go around. We're gonna hit entryways and then we're probably gonna take a little break, have a little nappy poo, maybe something to eat. And then, uh, be back out tonight and again in the morning I imagine. Woo! Never ends for them plow boys. Just when you think this storm's gonna slow down, says no. Not gonna happen. Here we go boys, lap three. <laughs> 